start off with the Remo boys getting that 3-0. Can they ride that momentum or will Sharper get that first win? Well, it's going to be the first hard point at Square Center and anybody that takes laundry should have the opener. But look at that beautiful smoke as well as the sun being dropped into laundry. Those players are blind from the get-go. Rebo Sadewa, what an opener. But the first point by Jaffa Esports. Hard point immediately pulled away by Rebo Sadewa. Sarun X will be able to keep the treasure up from the side of laundry. But he does need to step out because the precious is way too much. Jaffa Esports, they managed to turn things around at the hard point for a little bit but it's a one-on-one -on -one fight right now Jericho yeah it's a one-on-one -on -one fight laundry control still being controlled by Sharper and Remo managed to get that first opening kills but laundry was not getting taken out but here consistent blood that back and forth everything is just going in here and if you're both teams you just need to get a lot of time here because you need that laundry back to spawn with the Sharper what is Sharper doing here they're not overextending they're just trying to stack that one side and if you're Remo you have you have a lot of ways to push this you don't need to flood it in they AJ and push from there and that's what they're doing right now. Rotational gunfights are going to be key here. We do see Kitchen going to be getting taken over oh, by wow. Remo. And now let's see the next rotation. I, I love it, man. Uh, Remo Sadewa, they go in there for the early rotation. They knew that, you know, they couldn't perhaps play Square Center all that too well because Sharpe Esports were holding on to it pretty strongly. But now the fight and Kitchen. Oh, the boys, the Remo Sadewa team just gets baked out of there. They get kicked out quick than a little bit of a toast. And now a double team coming in here from the side of Remo Sadewa should be able to pull the hard point back. But as I say that Sharper Esports remain as sharp as ever. They go in for those gunfights. They win each and every single one. And they hold on to that second hard point, Jericho. Yeah, this is where the comfort fix comes in, AJ. You know, Sharper, I think they know this map by heart and they know how to put this. But it's good to see that Remo is in there for the retake. Finally getting some points here, 16 to 17, slowly climbing up ready. Can they hold it down? Aimer is there, but the trade is in, and now rotation could come in. We do see Remo again, first in the rotation, but can they hold it down? They were first in the last one, but they get they got they got broken by Sharper. We do see Saru next year on the right side, and as soon as he said that, all players from Remo go down, and now control will be given to Sharper. Uh, 31 to 20, Sharper Esports. They look like they should be able to pull this off, and they have stacked all of the defense into garage now those players are dropping in from gallery it seems to be too straightforward of a fight i think that they might want to step in towards that gym trickster should be able to pull this off and as i say that he does move in towards that entrance of the gym Windsor with his takedown he brings out the death machine mx9 for the combo as well hunter killer drone will go in for the assist takes down absolutely nobody but the mx9 that he has in his hands it will be more than enough to assist him all the way through Jerry. Yes, but we do see now the points are slowly stacking up now. Sharper with a 43 point lead. Contest is in here. And if you're Remo, you need to break this right now. But Sharper, C1 takes out his death machine. We'll be able to give that call out. out takes out that Remo player, and they're going to get that finals point. And they almost managed to get the whole point, the whole killer, AJ. But now it's going to be rotation again. Again, AJ. Remo already in the new hill, but the streaks are coming in. C1 takes out Aimer. But Mi6 is there for the trade here. And Remo has control of that and lets him probably can break this or will Remo finally get up that. Oh, beautiful. Now on for the play for the basketball court. Remo Sadewa keeps the two-piece for himself and now did not manage to get through him. It's a three-man hole so far. Predator Missile is not going to be able to strike. Death Machine, a double Death Machine setup coming through from the side of Remo Sadewa. And it looks like this is just going to be a killer. Masix as well as Amir. Masix gets taken down. Amir is still alive and kicking. It looks like it's a stronghold over at the basketball court. Sharper Esports cannot penetrate. This is that comeback from Remo getting this done right Jericho yeah they're getting this run they're getting this done they're getting this right done AJ the dead machines are out here back and forth left and right we do have C1 already with the Goliath though but as soon as he said that AJ the hill is broken already fully streaked out coming in from Sharper and Remo yes they managed to get some points here but the lead is slowly growing and growing AJ and if you are Remo you need to start winning more gunfights because Sharper is just taking over every single time. Oh yeah, absolutely, man. 98 to 48. Now basketball court has been ripped out of their hands, but it doesn't matter. In towards the central garden, the players from the side of Remo Sadewa trickling in one by one. And the side of Indonesia, they need to play this very, very strongly. But the problem with the central garden, it's way too open, man. You need to be looking at all four corners. And if Sharper Esports have been able to win all of the fights so, so far, 
winning this shouldn't be too much of an issue. And on that note, they take over 113 to 48. This match cannot come to an end if the side of Remo Sadewa steps in. Yes, they do, and they take over that hard point. Yeah, beautiful case of Kins here. here. Kins here with the MX9. You're gonna take out one player, huge place coming here, but can they hold it down? They have to get the contestant. Kins still alive here, barely just holding on. They get another one. Kins on a kill streak. There's gonna be one more player to beat here, but you can see the map. Harper decides to give it up for AJ. AJ. They want to work on that next one because they set up that Goliath, AJ. Remember, C was the last three streaks out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holding down that right side of your map, and Goliath will be in play. If you look at the map, AJ is gonna come out right now, and here we go. Let's see if Sharper can end it here, or will the boys from Rewo make another comeback? Oh, Sharper Esports, they are almost there. 117 to 76, and they hold on to square center with the XS1 Goliath in play as well. On top of that, Windsor brings in his death machine. This is a win already, man. There's no way in hell Rebo Sadewa can make a comeback in here unless they drop a Predator missile on C1's head right now, and they snuff out the death machine. But it does not look like that's going to be a possible situation. Situation. Trickster bringing in the Holga, but Chopper from the side of C1 drops him dead in his tracks. 142 to 76. Chopper Esports. Oh, damn. Yeah, this is coming out hot here, but there's still one more player. V6 is trying to hold it down for his team. Takes out the Goliath. Goliath is out 30. One more player to beat here. The finally gets taken out. Contest is still in. Four more points here. Siren X finally brings out the dead machine, and this should be a GG here. If you are sharp, bring for three more points, two more points. No one is near for the contest. And that is GG, 150 to 76. And AJ, just like that, the Kings of Thailand. Side is going to be taken by Sharper Esports. Let's see what they pull off at Crossfire. Yes, here we go. Let's start off with Sharper here. Let's see the snipe from Soybad. Soybad coming in here. More play for that SND, but he does. There he is. And Butcher takes out one. What a shot by Soybad. And that's, that's going to be the opening for the rush plant here, AJ. That's a good play coming in from Soybad, AJ. Yeah, sorry, bad. Going in for that quick pop of the snipe. And I don't think, uh, you know, he will be too concerned or too excited with that. That's just the first shot of the day that seems to have met a hit marker onto Soy Bad. And he has to back away. Messix is looking for a kill to equalize things for the side of Remo Sadewa. Should be able to find one on the player right there in front of him. But it's not going to be that easy. Let's see as, uh, you know, the standoff continues. The early access might be pulled off here by Amir as he moves in towards that corner building. Ah, oh, oh, so bad! <laughs> Punishes Keens and backs away instantaneously. What a play! Yeah, what a play of coming in for Soybad. 3v4 here. Sharper has that advantage. Trickster takes out another one, but Soybad gets three. Can he get the ace? Soybad hops on the game and just starts decimating all these players from Remo, and Remo has no answer. I know it's just the first round, but Soybad is setting the tone. Sharper C1 takes out Trickster, and it's Oh, all come on, Soybad. But Soybad gets the fourth one. Wow, good place. Great place coming out from Sharper Esports. Sorry, man. So, so bad. But he's so, so bad that he's so, so good. Now, let's see if or not he will be able to bring in that composure as the sniper in round number two. They have to pull this up six times running. Sorry, bad. Going in for the quick scope early on looking into butchers. Finds absolutely no one. Wants to go in for another quick scope. Will find absolute zero in terms of returns. But uh, now in from the other side, takes Keens out of the equation. Remo Sadewa once again hurt. And C1 from nowhere, all cards gets taken down. Yeah, and this is not glowing well for the Rimo Sadewa boys. 3v5 ready, but here comes the nade. That might be able to take out the person on the bomb, but no bomb is now. Now retake is going to come through. Let's see if Remo can be able to get this retake or will Sharper take over here. But we do see the positioning, AJ. Everything is covered here, but Trickster fine. Takes out C1, one player down. Soybad takes out another one. Soybad is just on another level right now off his sniping AJ. And Vixer gets taken out as well. It's still a winnable round if you are Remo. Uh, it's a two versus two. May six. Oh, botting two of that. But Amer goes in there for the assist. And now when taken down out of the equation, Sarun X, everything is on him. He finds a player, MX9, not able to go in for the takedown for the backstab. Ooh. Out of nowhere. How did Amer pull that off? He just... That was just, that's how you play a 2v1 situation, AJ. You just have to trust your teammate. But, you know, if you were sharper, you had that round in the bag, AJ. It was a 4v2, but, you know, that's, I think, the overconfidence kind of played there, AJ. 
And now we do see 1-1 one, one, Remo answering back after losing that first round. Well, sorry, bad. We'll be looking for the snipe in Butchers once again, or towards Butchers, I have to say. No, it doesn't look like that's the exact play. All of their players now dropping into central building. They are going in for the push onto Alpha instantaneously. One player has been taken down. Trickster snuffs out Soy Bad to equalize things for Rebo Sade White. So four and four so far. And the bomb's about to get planted. One minute, 34 seconds on the clock. And it is about to get reduced down to just 45 seconds. Let's go, Jericho. Yes, here we go. Bomb is down. Keem's on the right side. He's trying to take out one person, but misses. Gets a hit marker. Keen's huge play coming in there. Now Bomb is down, though. 44 piece versus two. Can Sharper make anything here? But Remo is taking out. C1 gets another one. Gets two as well. Cyber next and C1 making this a two man game. But Okaz is there for the help. Can he get that trade? Has no punches him oh. and gets the kill. <laughs> Manny Pacquiao would be proud. Four. That was such a nice play coming in from Remo. I didn't know Thanos was invited for this as well, man. I, I, I should have known. I should have known. Thanos, uh, can I get your autograph, please? Karina Regional Qualifier. And it's a punching match, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. All of a sudden, it's turned into a boxing match. <laughs> boxing match, indeed. And now Remo, 2-1 here. And Sharper, you know, now they're a little bit slow now, AJ. But look at look at the positioning of the Remo boys. Already inside the already inside the beat bucket. Oh, God in a very very good position but Vengster takes out too it's a 3v4 now let's see what's gonna happen here will bomb go down or will oak look at how near they are aj they're just many seconds just hiding oh takes out one can he get the second one no gets taken out the trade is in there but the damage has been done bomb is done but bomb will be oh. planted again and now me6 is stuck in a 1v3 uh, nice play with the nade, but unfortunately for me, six he does not find that kill. DLQ in hand, he has to pop out the shorty. One shot, and he has to back away. If he's not quick enough, that releases that one shot. Backstab as he steps in too far. Windsor gets that kill. I believe that's the third one for him in that matchup. Mm -hmm. And he'll be very happy. Two to two, Rebo Sadewa trying to make the comeback. Yeah, they're trying to make that comeback here, but now Sharper ties it up in a 2-2, AJ. But let's see, Sharper, I like that play, that slow push there, but because, you know, Vinkster did that play. Three kills in that round, two shotgun plays, but Trickster takes out Vinkster. No more shotgun for you. And now Remo Sadewa will have that pressure and be able to push up the B bomb side. But we do see the boys from Sharper already inside that central building, AJ, number one, which is going to be a now win, just going to be there. Uh, you know, it's just everyone's just trying to get a pick here at this point, AJ. Yeah, and C1 seems to be, uh, you know, hot on his toes, waiting for the opportunity. It's going to be Soy Bad still looking for those snipes, missing that player by just a couple of seconds. Um, he's not going to be too happy with that, but there's nothing much he can do. Five to four so far. One minute left on the clock, and Me6 does not get the kill, but the hit marker definitely manages to push Anawin back. And the bomb plan will come through potentially if they can take out, um, you know, the Okads, but I don't think that's going to be possible, man. He's holding on to such a acute angle there. And Okads takes the C1 out of the equation. One more shot! And he manages to drop Sarun X as well. Chopper Esports, wow. they drop. Remo Sadewa take the lead. Yeah, flawless round coming in from Remo Sadewa. And if you were sharper, a lot of missed opportunities there, you know, just not having the best time of of your life in that round but 3-2 AJ still a close game here let's see if what's gonna happen next but the the sides have been switched and Remo has the oh, oh, the, oh my god oh, it gets one trickster gets one as well it's gonna be a 5v3 me6 gets another it's a double sniper setup AJ uh yep it is that double snipe setup that you know we perhaps usually look out for when we drop into crossfire it's the perfect setup if you ask me providing your team can pull it off Keen's beautiful shots but does not manage to control the recoil on that whole good 26. We'll have to wait a little bit more. Price Fighters <laughs> gets pulled out. Winston drops all cards this time round. And two more players from the side of Sharper Esports will survive. The numbers don't look too bad. Now it does. Yes, it does. But Remo takes out another one and takes out Soybad. 
and that's gonna be a 4-2 now Remo taking over this game I feel like that side switch really mattered for Remo now they're just having fun on this offensive side if you are sharper you got to do something here maybe try to rush into the side or maybe try to let 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 another uh, sniper come into play you know maybe two snipers or let soy bad use a different weapon aj things are not looking well for the sharper boys yep um you know sorry bad he opened up things really well c1 gets dropped a little early this time round remo sadewa taking that lead in terms of the men uh in terms of the numbers game let's see if or not they will be able to keep that out aber backs away in the nick of time that nate does not catch him off guard and the attacking side of remo sadewa looks quite solid jericho yeah, it really looks solid here, but here comes the push though. Four versus Cyber Chopper. They're just gonna be pushing here. Just gonna be flooding together. Vincer takes out what? Me6 gets the trade to Ananawi. And Aimer here with the shorty. He's gonna make the player. Walks out. Me6 takes another one out. Aimer takes out Sardar next. It's all up to Vincer in a 1v3. Misses that second shot. Gets that. Gets one, but he does know the players are there. Can he make the play? 10 seconds left. And this should be a round for Remo. Mm, four to two so far and Vincer shouldn't be able to pull this off there you go two to one they take him down five to two is the score Remo Sadewa making a comeback and I absolutely love to see the back and forth that's going through in these matches Sharper Esports let's see if or not they now can show us right back through when they are down but here comes the rush. I mean, if it's going to be one player in the middle, Vincer already at the base. Can he take out anyone? But he's going to get... No, he does get one. Vincer, that beautiful play coming in there. Rushes in the middle, but another player. And now he gets taken out by the six. Now it's going to be a 4v3 AJ. And I like the play from the Sharper. A very aggressive. But can they win this round? Ah, that's a good question, man. Prize fighters in his hands, but he's not going to go in for those melee cheeky kills just yet. C1 um, opportunities, but Keens and the Hulk is just going to be too uh, stressful for him to meet up with. Keens manages to drop C1 out of the equation, and the numbers 4 to 2 puts Remo Sadewa in a really good position to secure the victory on the search and destroy. Sharper Esports managed to take that hard point, but I guess Remo Sadewa turning things around in match number two you know puts it right back in the equal balance man the question is can they actually finish the job yes i, I feel like this should be around for remo four versus two but they are both in the center Bad takes out Aimer. Now it's a 3v4, uh -oh. but there's one player behind him. I don't think they know it. The timing is there. They divided, managed to hear the player, and Me6 is there to try to make the annoying here, but gets set up by Soy Bad. Now it's a 2v2, AJ. 35 seconds. They have to make a player. Set has a lot of time here, AJ, but they have to start moving. Uh, Soy Bad is just so, so good, man. It is a 2 versus 2, and the situation has just turned around so quick. Sharper Esports going in with, I believe, no cheeky defusal. Oh, God! from the Ooh. back soy bad just drops him out of the equation soy bad so so good takes keens out as well 12 seconds and this is too easy for chopper esports that defusal will come through and they will go five to three not giving up just yet jericho yeah, you know, AJ, if, if Remo loses this game, I'm going to blame it on that run because he shouldn't be bringing out the prize fighters in that close. Yes, you can melee them, but you still have a gun. A gun is better than punching someone, AJ. So let's see what's going to happen here. Five, three, sharper, slowly making that comeback. Can Soy Bad do something here? He gets one, takes out one player. Can he take out another? But Me6 trades out for Sarun X. Now it's a 4v4. Ooh, barely hits Soy Bad here. Soy Bad gets away with his life. And now Bob is down, actually, AJ. And let's see what Remo can do. Yeah, 4-4. Four four. The numbers seem to be all equal. But it looks like... Ah, oh, C1 out of nowhere. Remove Strixter from the equation. Remo Sadewa not going to be too happy with that at all. Now, one player, which is in the form of Ocharts, dropping into bus station, waiting to see if or not Sharper Esports comes in here for the push. But I highly doubt Sharper Esports wants to do anything silly like that. They know that they have got the advantage on them the bombers are you know uh, rebo sadewa they are the attacking side they have to go in for the plant so it's all for sharper esports here to waste their time yeah all all they just have to waste their time a minute left that's a lot of time here aj 4v4 stale 4v3 stalemate <laughs> is gonna go down here smoke is out and here we go bomb will go down can remo close it out here or will we see another round for sharper sharper just trying to make a play here all on the central building here just spot two me six gets that information and if you are remote all Ooh. you have to do is play time all you have to do is play time and if you're sharper push together 
Oh, me six now. Oh, opportunity, but now win in this KRM just a little bit too quick and too spicy. Windsor moves in and out. All charge drops and now with Windsor taken out of the equation as well. Soybat out of nowhere pulls out his shorty, takes him down, and now it's a two to nobody. Beautiful plays from Sharper Esports puts them right back in the fight. Remo Sadewa have one more chance to finish this off. Can they do it or is it going to go into round number? 11 Jerko. I mean, it's never over till it's over, AJ. And I can hear the bells tolling already. It's gonna be it's gonna be round 10, AJ. And you know, if you're Remo, you just stick to what you work, you know. Maybe try to rush it now. You know, try to not try not to get picked by Soy Bad anymore. Splant the bomb immediately so that it's gonna be hard for them to get that that retake because it's gonna be a 5v5 if you plant the bomb, AJ. And that's what they're gonna do right now. Aimer gonna be dropping the bomb ready, AJ, and now play time. That's all you have to do. And if you're sharper, you gotta move quick. Uh, now let's see if or not they can move in quickly for the diffusal. They have to take those numbers down first. And I think that this is a great move, man! Oh my God. From Rebo Sadewa, but Zarud X takes Keens out with the Katana. And now Future Plus, Windsor oh. goes in there for the push. And they are just snuffing out all the players from the side of Rebo Sadewa, leaving just one final player left in the mix. And it's going to be me, Six, who gets dropped. And Jabba Esports pushes this into round number 11. Oh my god, this is why. Prize fighters. <laughs> AJ, it happened again. Another <laughs> melee. <laughs> Here we go. Game number two, round 11. Sides are going to be switched. We're going to have offense for Sharper and defense for Remo. Let's see what's going to happen here. The rush is going to come in. Smokes are down. And now let's see if they're going to be able to go for the rush back or they're going to try to play some picks here. A lot of time to break here. One minute. They have, they actually get that stun check. And they'll count one beautiful nickel for for C1. Okaz is there. And now it's going to be a 4v5. Let's see if what they're going to do here. Bomb should be going down in a while now, AJ. Yep, Sarun X right there. Ochaz should be able to ask questions. And yes, he does. Whoa. It's a two piece for himself. Sarun X and Windsor dropped out of the equation. And now it's a four to three. Sharper Esports did not see that coming. And because of that, it looks like, you know, it, it was a pretty well taken push coming in from Ochaz. And now Soybad dropping in to check in on him. That KRM going up against the DLQ. I do not think Soybad has an opportunity. Oh, but Ochaz just stands there, leaving his head popping out. I do not think that. Was a great idea but now with the plant coming through three versus three remo sadewa i wonder if they can pull this off i think they can not anymore aimer gets saved by and now it's gonna be a 3v2 are we gonna see a comeback here let's see what's gonna happen here aj it's all up to me six and trickster here in a 2v3 can they make a play to spot one player at the back 25 seconds they have to start moving here aj 25 seconds left can remo a be able to get this but soy bad's already set up for that post plant right here it does have eyes on the bomb 15 seconds, no movement coming in from Remo. They're taking so much time here, AJ, and this should be a game for Sharper. Yeah, sorry, bad. Shuts down to me six and tricks there going in for the ninja. But a three on one situation <laughs> breaks down. Sharper Esports. Game number three, no, they're gonna be demoralized here, AJ, and Sharper, they're just gonna be taking over in this game, but let's see, anything can happen here in game number three, standoff, AJ. Uh, now, let's see if or not they will be able to fight through Sharper Esports. Remo Sadewa, they open up, but the C flag is all they get. As we step on into standoff, Hotel Yard is not gonna get lit up because this is a whole other game. Mid Square is the name of the target as they push on in for that Bravo hold. And Bakery is that power position you want to be playing if you're Remo Sadewa. Sharper Esports needs to play Granny's house, but look at A. Amir just step on in towards Granny, snuffing them out one after the other. Keen's taking the backstab as well. And Remo Sadewa, they are getting a majority of those initial kills and trying to take control of this map. And I think they're doing it right. Yeah, they're doing it very right here. But Remo just trying to get that control of Statue. Okaz is there to get that help. B will not be captured, but Sharper, a lot of pressure. You see them just flooding the middle, but you see number three on your map. Siren X at the back. Now Remo is here to get this this B flag, very good place coming in from both teams, but no one still has control of the flag. 
Uh, now let's see if or not Ooh. we will see Remo Sadewa making the play finally come through for themselves. Sharper, they win the fight on mid square, but out of nowhere, yeah, 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 drops him. And it looks like this is their opportunity. Remo Sadewa now going in for that push, and yeah, yeah, drops tricks this once again, going in for the attempt for that Bravo pick. Sharper Esports might be able to bag it this time round. So close to a triple cap as well. Prevention on that Charlie flag will enable the, the Sharper side to pick up that B flag. That distraction looks like it was more than good enough. 25 to 24, Remo Sadewa has not lost this just yet. Yeah, they haven't lost it at all. It's just really... You know, uh, just doing a close game right now, it's a matter of control here, AG. You want to have that map control here, and that is what Star for Esports is doing. They have control here. Oka is trying to do everything he can, but Emo. Now, this is what I, I like this, AJ. They have to overextend here. This is really good by Keens here, but he has to wait for his teammates. He can't do this on his own, but there you go. The distraction. Look at the players from Sharper. They're looking for him. They are looking for him, but finally gets taken out, and that's the distraction they need. Beautiful plays coming in from Remo, but can they hold it down? They all got taken out, but let's see if they can retake it again. Uh, it's the opportunities that, you know, the side of Remo Sadewa have been looking for. Finally, the B flag in their hands. They just need to hold on to Bakery. As long as the player can stay alive at Bakery, C1 knows that it will be a challenge and he goes in straight for that fight. Holger 26, but C1 stands out in the open way too long, but me 6 comes through for that backup as well. Remo Sadewa, they don't want to let go of that B flag and they seem to be doing a hell of a good job holding on to it. 49 9 to 49, here comes an equalizer, and the Indonesian still fighting to make it all the way through. B-Black challenge now, Sharper Esports, can they do it? Yes, they will. Wow, it's just ah, a Trickster gets what? the triple kill, gets fully streaked out, and just like that, Remo Sadewa still has control of that flag. But Sharper Esports just trying to make a comeback there, but nothing is happening. Remo Sadewa just taking over. I think they're going to get a triple cap, AJ. Here we go. Trip cap is inbound. And yes, we do see a triple lockdown here. Remo taking over this first half, AJ. Oh, Sharper Esports. They look strong, but now they look like they are staggering 73 to 56 not too much of an issue let it go on to that halfway point sharper esports will be looking to set up a comeback in the next half let's see exactly how they pull it off right 56 now sharper esports will be starting off from the gorilla base they should be able to take that c flag and then jump on into bakery put a lot of pressure onto mid square but surprisingly none of those players actually jump in into that power position everybody wants to play a direct approach and it looks like the beeline towards granny's house is what we will see sharper esports focus on and yeah vinks are here being annoying here this is this is what keens is doing last last side but he pulls out his death machine at the wrong at the right time actually and now they're gonna be able to capture their home flag vinks are here to try and be annoying but unfortunately the timing was there and he was not able to capture a but the distraction is there aj and b is captured by sharper and now he gets two kills but uh -oh. aimer is just here for the play can he do something here uh -oh. he takes, ah! no my he does not take it out predator missile comes in here takes out one player yes he does sharper esports slowly making the comeback triple lockdown is in aj and remo is in a world full of pain Ah, this triple cap should be broken in a couple of seconds. Charlie's going to fall right back into the hands of Remo Sadewa. There you go. C flag taken back. 83 to 80. Remo Sadewa still can win this matchup. They are not lagging behind. In fact, they are in front, but they do not have that B flag. They need to fight for it through the nail. And now with just one player going in for the push, he getting taken down. Me6 not going to be too happy with that. 87 to 88. Sharper Esports finally pulls on ahead. Let's see if they can hold on to this lead all the way through a comeback yet again stop blowing my mind Shabby esports <laughs> maybe it is a comeback 94 to 90 right here but finally remo managed to get that b flag here 96 to 91 leads are going to be able to switch in a while but the sentry gun on top red aj you do see that by sharper esports has another man to help but now another trip cap coming in from remo the back and forth is coming in here remo now has control of that Three flags, AJ, and Sharper is now in the world full of pain. Let's see what's gonna happen here. Keen's trying to defend on his own, but finally the trip cap. But no, the Hunter Killer helps them. But now we do see Sharper just having a hard time getting the flag. Sentry Gun is down, and Remo is taking over this game.
with a double sentry setup one on alpha one over at the bakery bakery one gets taken out of the equation sharper esports making a comeback but it looks like they've already lost this game 121 to 99 unless sharper esports can go and cap the b flag and then move on into taking a triple cap look at the b line for the charlie flag now sharper esports they actually might be able to pull this off the rest of the players from remo sadewa stacking up into private backyard i don't know what they're doing there but it seems like they are setting up a crazy crazy defense that might work out 133 to 105 sharper esports without a triple cap this is going to be impossible yeah, it's going to be impossible, but Remo is going to get that trip cap. They're going to be able to want to get that trip cap. One more thing to beat there, but this should be a GG here. Remo finally getting up on that board, AJ. Great place coming in for me, but Sharper, unfortunately, they just lost something there. I thought they were going to win the game, AJ, with that trip cap, but Remo just answered right back and managed to get that third game, and now they are going to be able to win this game. Oh, such a great matchup between the two teams. I feel like both of them showed up at their best, but Japa Esports 